Hey, this is uh, Paul Sharp, and I'm uh, the system analyst here at X-Digital. Today, I want to show you how to change out a fuser belt module in a version 3100 the right way. So uh, let's get started. You're going to need a few tools to do the job properly. First, a small screwdriver, a 5.5 millimeter nut driver, magnetic preferred, along with the cooling rack and the handles that you receive with the machine. So the first thing you want to do is open the two front drawers, grasp the green handle, and turn it clockwise 90 degrees and pull it towards you until it stops at the first position. Now get your screwdriver and on the rails the holding the module, you'll find a hole. Press into the hole and that'll unlock the latch that holds the belt module in the first position. On each side, press in and unlock the latch and extend it to the second position. Next, get your 5.5 millimeter nut driver, magnetic preferred, and remove the front screw on your fuser module, uh, which holds the front cover on. Now, you'll be able to see the screws that hold the top cover on. Remove the one on the front and on the rear and you can flip open the top of the fuser and expose the fuser belt module that you're now going to remove. There's four plugs on the front of the fuser that you'll have to, to disconnect. Disconnect the three front wires on the front of the fuser and the large black one. Remove them from the clip. Now go get the handles and the cooling rack. Attach the handles to both the front and rear of the fuser. Get the two handles and attach them to the pins both inboard and outboard so that you can remove the module. Don't try to pull it straight up as it won't come out. Pick it up by sliding it slightly to the left as you lift and the module will come out of the fuser. Now place it onto your cooling rack so that you don't set a hot 400 degree fuser onto a table. Next, get your new fuser out of the box. It's wrapped up pretty good. You can just pick it up with your hands, don't bend the wires, and place it back in with the wires outboard sliding it back in at an angle, down and slightly to the right. Hook up all the wires on the front side, the small plugs and your large black plug and place them into the clip. Now lower the top cover and place the two screws inboard and outboard and lock and secure the top cover. Then take the front cover, place it back on the front and put in your last screw. Now just depress the two clips on the sides of your rails and push the drawer back in Grasp the handle and turn it back toward 12 o'clock, close your front covers, and you're ready to run your fuser setups. If you're self-maintaining one of these machines and need this part, you can call us, visit our website, or email us. Thanks for watching.